Hey guys, welcome back to Shorty's Kitchen. Today we'll be making banana nut muffins with a little crunchy on top. Let's get started. So we're gonna do all the dry ingredients first. So it's gonna be one and a half cup of flour, one cup of sugar. There is all the dry ingredients in here, which is baking powder, which is two teaspoons of baking powder, two, two one fourth teaspoons of baking soda, one four, two one fourth teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, so that's all your dry ingredients. And we mix it. All this got to get mixed very well, as you see. Let me just use something else that's going to be better to mix. A lot of people don't use this to mix, but I do. So we get all our stuff mixed together as well. So our next ingredients will be our bananas. So this is three Actually, I put four bananas. Preferably, they be very, very ripe. Like getting, like, you know, when the skin gets black like that. Perfect. See this? Perfect. So let's get this cracking. Get every crumb is out. Okay. So. Next ingredients, we're gonna put vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I know a lot of people do it differently, but this is the way I do it. And let's just get started on trying to mix this. Okay. Wow. This is going to be beautiful. Then our next ingredients is going to be our eggs. This is three eggs, three large eggs. Okay. This is three large eggs. Okay. Wow. This is going to be delicious. So, and you have to have your oven heating at 350 degrees. As you see, look at how this is turning out beautifully. Okay, so now, not last, the butter. It has to be nice and melted. As you see, nice and melted. And let's get this cracking. This is pretty quick. As you can see, it's not a thing that's going to take forever. It's just going to be really, really good. So now, these are walnuts. You can use pecans. This is a cup and a half of that chopped walnuts. A lot of people don't care for it. You can leave it out, as you see. So... This is ready to be baked. As you see, look, it doesn't take that long. Once you got the ingredients together, your muffins will be ready to go. So now we can push this to the side. And let's get started with our crunchies. And this is a cup of flour. I'm gonna pour it in this bowl. One cup of flour. We're going to use a half a cup. 
or maybe a little more brown sugar, however you like it. Okay, what else? Um, we got the butter. And with the butter, it's a full stick of butter. So, a full stick of butter. But if you want a little more, if it's a little too dry or too anything, you don't you can do it yourself. one but it doesn't matter it's just to get the stuff all together so you know what let me just get a it's a little too rough for that so we'll get a fork and this is really quickly and this is for the crunchies I will be putting the descriptions down below below so as you see it just makes it just as easy you can add the rest of the butter This takes a little more power, but you know, it'll get done. No matter if it goes on the counter, you can always clean it later. This brown sugar was kind of light. You can always use a darker brown sugar. So, and don't worry if you get it on the counters, we can always clean it up once you're baking, so. So now we add our walnuts. You, like I said, you can use pecans or you don't have to use anything at all. That's, that's a half a cup of walnuts. So here we go. we will see what these things are gonna taste like when they're done and as you see it's very 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 quick and easy it's fast it's not something out of this world see how beautiful that looks so let's get started with Spraying my pan. Make it easy. Just so they won't stick. Let me get a spoon where we can just pour them in. Just gonna do a few so you can see. When I make these, my next door neighbor loves them. He can really, really eat them all. So when you make these, believe me, everyone you make them for, they're gonna love them. Especially if you follow directions. Let's just continue working. We're almost done, we're almost done. We're gonna put these in the oven. I'll show you what you do with the crunchies. I love this pan. It looks old, but I love this pan because it bakes my muffins very well. And this one makes about, I'll say about 
a dozen and a half, honestly. So this is what we do with it. Let's just get these crunchies in there so you can actually see how we do it. All right. I mean, you don't have to make them this high. I do. And um, just put it on the top. These are going to be wonderful, delicious. Everybody you make these for, they're going to love them. You can even cut the recipe in half if you didn't want to make that many. You can actually cut this recipe in half. So... You cannot go wrong with these muffins. Believe me when I tell you, you cannot go wrong. This brown sugar, this delicious. So we're going to put them in the oven for about, about 25 minutes, maybe even less. Let's just continue going this crispies. As you see, this is how I wish I would have taken out a spoon, but I'm doing it with how I can. Okay. All right, let's do it like this. As you see, look how beautiful this is. We're going to keep rolling because there's a lot of the brown sugars in the bottom. So, all right, so we have a few more to go. And then we can stick them in the, in the oven. That's a little more. Let's put a little more crunchy on this one. It doesn't matter where it goes. This one's going to be a small one. All right, so let's lower it. I love my confessional oven because you don't have to turn on the big one. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, they're ready. Oh, Ooh, nice and hot. Okay, guys. Mm. Let's see how they come out. Oh, look how soft and oh. Oh, nice and hot, nice and hot. Let's break it up. Look at that. See, let's try it. Mm. Thank you for watching my channel. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. I hope you love them just like I do.